and welcome to Sue Where Why What and more specifically my ultimate guide to the best of Pembrokeshire in Wales. So on this video we're going to go to Tembe, walk the Wales Coast Path from Barrafundal to Broadhaven, visit the stunning and fascinating St Govan's Chapel and then head over to St David's for a hike around St David's Head and finish off in St David's City, the smallest city in the UK. So I'm in the beautiful town of Tenby in Wales, absolutely gorgeous. Looking forward to a good few hours exploring. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, press the red button to subscribe or hit the bell and you get a notification every time I post a new video on Sue Where Why What, which is every Friday. Castle up there, which I've just missed because I went to the video. But that's actually the fort, um, and I was almost there, and then I just turned around and saw it, it was just a few meters above where I've come from. So I'm going to go up there, see what Tembe Castle is all about. This is the South Beach, and the tractor over there takes you over to Colby Island. Castle, the views over the beaches and of the town, and then over the other side to the fort, um, are well worth the effort of just a few steps. So, today I'm on the Pembrokeshire coastal path. Um, and I'm going to take a walk from Barrafundal Bay Beach, which is that direction, over to Broadhaven South. So I'm looking forward to a good day. So this is gorgeous Barrafundal Bay. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful in the area. So now we're coming, climbing again into a wooded area. Nice to be out of the sun. But gorgeous views back through the trees to the beach. on the beach. Uh, it's a 
amazing to kayak around this coast as well um, because there's a beach desk down there that we've passed but it looks like you can only get there by kayak too so this down here is church rock um, which means that I think just around the bay there is um, Broadhaven South which is where we're headed and then I'm going to walk along the river a little bit and then cross back to where I parked the car inland. I decided to take the inland route to Bashoshtatin via the lakes. So it looks like it's nicely covered. Um, and an interesting sign here, baby toads crossing. This morning I'm on the Pembrokeshire coast in Wales and I'm about to go down and visit St Govan's Chapel, which is a medieval chapel, which is literally built down there into the rocks. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the story behind it. The legend of St Govan is that he was um, running from pirates who were trying to rob him and he hid in a rock um, and this is in the 500s, the 5th, 6th century. Um, he hid in a rock and to protect him the rock engulfed him and he managed to escape from the pirates. So then in the 13th century, his followers decided they wanted to build a chapel in his honor. And so they chose the spot where he hid to do that. Right in the cliffs. There's also part of the legend, which is um, that pirates then stole the bell, which was up in the bell tower, which you can see behind me. Um, and it was retrieved by the angels and when it was and St Govan used to hit the bell it would sound a thousand times louder. I think this here is where the bell was hidden. So to get here you literally have to drive through a military training area or a firing range. So I would actually say St Govan is very well protected. So today I'm on the St David's Head walking route should take about an hour and a half I think it's about six miles probably take me two and a half <laughs> so I'm a bit slow um, a little misty so far this morning I'm hoping to go to the peak because there's supposed to be amazing views um, and it's feeling like it's going to burn off so fingers crossed by the time I get there we'll be able to see something Some beautiful wild 
Welsh ponies. So I believe that this is the this is the route up the hill. Because of the mist still sitting here, I don't believe I'm going to actually see an awful lot when I get there. But I've kind of committed to it <laughs> and nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we're going to go for it anyway. See what we can see. Okay, I made it to the top. But unfortunately, <laughs> as predicted, the views aren't quite as spectacular as they would be if we had blazing sunshine and blue skies, which is what we had yesterday. shame about the timing of my hike up there because it looks like you would be able to see more now um, but it's been a lovely walk actually and so few people on it it's absolute silent don't know if you can hear the birds <laughs> just seen is Coit and Arthur or Arthur's Coit which is potentially a burial chamber from 4000 BC and the stone on top is six meters by two and a half meters so it's actually huge and there's supposedly around here somewhere the remains of a hillside fort dating back to 2000 BC you can still apparently see the turrets, but um, keep him eyes peeled. So we're headed back now, right along the coast path, the direction that we've come. And um, over there in the distance is White Sands Bay which is where I've parked the car. I think that over there is Skoda Island, which is supposedly one of the most biodiverse places in Britain um, because of where it sits and it is the perfect place. It's about a 15, 20 minute boat ride out there from St. David's. Amazing bird life over there, including great place to see puffins. It looks like we have more ponies ahead. Hello. Can I walk past? Okay. Moment. Now taking a quick detour 
to the city of St David's which is actually the smallest city in Britain and the reason it's been able to call itself a city is because it has this magnificent cathedral. So the key sites in St David's are the cathedral, which is behind me, and then just across the road there, the impressive 